So welcome back to the channel. If you are watching for the first time, thank you for finding me. If you do want any more of this content, give us a thumbs up, hit the notifications bell, but also I'd love it if you joined my YouTube community. This is a new little thing I'm going to start and do. I'm trying to do a little daily vlog, a roundup of what we've been up to here at the Golf Academy, how we've gone on with fittings, coaching sessions, or anything topical that I think might need to be discussed. I'm sat here tonight with my pal Victor and a new tailor-made golf bag that has just landed. This looks absolutely stunning, limited edition. And that's because it's Masters week. We've got the Masters on the television. They're interviewing the players. Currently, Ludwig Alberg is on my television behind me. Uh, this is Victor. Um, and the reason I say Victor, it's a Jay Lindeberg top that has just come to stock. And uh, obviously, he probably will be wearing that. Now, I know I'm joking about having Victor there, but I do intend to have some guests sat here in the green room with me over the next few days, weeks, months, years, depending how well we get on with this channel. But for now, for tonight, it's just me and Victor. He's not really saying a lot and me having a bit of a chat. Now, one thing, this is a bit Marmite. I'm going to just show you these. That's the new TaylorMade TP5X limited edition ball. Um, I'm gonna, I've am going got to explain this box to you. I don't know if you can make this out, but it is peachy. It actually feels like I'm stroking a peach there. And it's limited edition. These have been, as you can read, maybe freshly picked. Freshly picked peaches. Augusta has a thing about peach and peach melba. Um, did I ever tell you I went to Augusta? Anyway, and this limited edition ball, like I've said, it is a bit more bit more like this. I'm not sure if you've been using the tailor-made balls at all. The TP5, I find, is a great ball. I'm just going to show you this, the way they've written Telemade on the ball, and um, there's, I mean, they look like peaches, but they could also look like something else. Anyway, I'll let you work that out. It, a bit of Marmite from Telemade. they just arrived today, and I did mention there'll be little things like this in this daily vlog that I'll be discussing. So today, yes, it's been brutal here in Lytham. Storm, something or other, I think we're on L now. That's a lot of storms since Christmas has hit. It rained heavily all morning. We were out there picking golf balls. And I have popped a little YouTube video on just showing you what we're up to on a daily basis just to keep the driving range here open. We've got a 20 bay driving range, top tracer and power tees. It's a great range, but the wind and the rain this morning was relentless, making it very difficult for us to cut the balls. However, myself... Um, my wife and uh, Lucas it was this morning along with my dad we managed to get out there and get around 7,000 balls and now to put that in perspective we have around 10 to 12,000 balls hit a day we only got 7,000 in it's now quarter to seven in the evening hoping we manage to stay open till eight o'clock at least we normally open till nine uh, thankfully there's not been as many golfers here today so we appreciate that for, for golfers not coming down and not spending time here but the wind has been blowing straight into the bays it's been pretty brutal however we've still seen a few more than I expected and that's because golf courses are shut everywhere uh, quite a sad state of affairs in the start of April the masses on television and most golf courses certainly in the north of England are closed so I really do feel for the professionals the management staff, the catering teams, any franchises that are involved with these golf clubs, because this is tough times for those golf clubs. One thing that's been questioned quite publicly lately um, is why people should stay or retain their membership at a golf club in 2024. Well, I think you should. That's me throwing my cap into the ring. I don't work at a golf club anymore. However, I was the head pro at St. Anne's Old Links for a long time, uh, 30 years just over. Um, so I really do think a golf club is part of the community. Now, the reason you've joined a golf club was to play regular golf, to make golf more affordable, believe it or not. And now you're going to question that. It's around about £1,000 a year subscription on average to play golf. If you do that, that's £20 a week. If you were to play three times, maybe four times a week, which some people can do in the summer, certainly at weekends, it's around £5, around the price of a coffee and a sandwich. So if you think a little bit about that, a, a Starbucks a day or a golf membership, it's definitely worth the money. 
Now, that's if you're getting to play, and obviously at the moment, not many people are getting to play golf because the course is shut. So people are questioning whether they should renew their subs. Well, I'm going to say, yes, renew your subs. Make that effort. Pop in and see the professional. Have a chat with the manager. Make sure they're okay. Go and buy a bar of chocolate and a few balls off the pro. Keep his till ringing because he's got a family. He's got bills to pay. He's got staff to pay. He's employing people. And he's seeing nobody currently If during the probably toughest seven or eight months of his business life. So I really think you should carry on supporting the club, supporting the pro. And then when the golf course reopens, be patient. The courses aren't going to be in as good condition as you'd normally expect this time of year. But those green staff are working at their hardest in atrocious weather to keep you playing golf, to make sure you can have an enjoyable leisure time. So, you know, in my, in my argument, make sure you support the club. Stay as a member. The value is definitely worth it. If you leave and resign as member, resign your membership from the golf club, one, you'll probably struggle getting back into some clubs, but also you'll be paying between 20 to 70 or £100 a round at a lot of courses, struggle to get tee times, struggle to get games, struggle to get on at the time you want to play. Yet, as a member of a golf club, you get priority and all those things. You also get to sign guests in at the golf club you remember at. And that's quite important. At St. Anzor Links, £35 to sign a pal in for 18 holes of golf when the green fee is around £100. That is a winner. So these are all bonuses and benefits you get from being the member of that golf club. That's enough from me on that one. What else have I been up to today? Gave a couple of coaching sessions in the studio right behind me here. Helped someone with the shanks with his pitching. Just gave a nice little drill. Just His weight was in the toes on his downswing. So we just moved his weight back a little bit. That worked nicely. And also a wedge fitting as well. We've decided to go with a 50-54-58 for someone who was using... Uh, his pitching wedge at 52 and a 60. So we've changed his wedge lofts and that was a Vokey wedge fitting, very successful. If you are local and you're looking to spend any time learning about your equipment, we've got a superb custom fit studio here. You haven't said much, Victor. We've got a superb custom fit studio here at the Golf Club and we fit for all major brands, eight brands and a very well stocked shop with delightful clothes like this in it. Not too much of an ad. I'm not trying to push the business. This is just me telling you a little about who I am, what I do, uh, and what I intend to do moving forward. So like I've said, I would probably get a couple of guests in here if there's anyone you'd like to see. Um, sat on that chair, I don't know, Tiger, um, Rick Shields, someone like that. I don't know, maybe someone a little bit more accessible like Ali Taylor. Sorry, Al, no, no disrespect meant. Um, please make a little comment below and uh, we might get a little bit more chat than Victor has done for us today. Just, I mean, they are quite nice and soft on your face. That I mean, if you're going to buy some of these, it's nice just to, just to like, rub along your cheek. Well, that's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you're still here, make sure you subscribe, put a little comment below and... Uh, that is Tuesday, the something of April's vlog. Bye.